Good evening YouTube, Brew by Me, back again. Yes I am. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing another beer from the Tree Brewing Company in Kelowna, BC. This is their Hop Head Black India Pale Ale. Unpasteurized, no preservatives, limited edition, again like the other two were also limited editions. This is 8.8% .8 ABV in 650 milliliter bottle. Um, takes Char selection of all natural and pasteurized beers sure is satisfied one of the most discriminating blah 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 the drinkers and uh, basically it's just telling you to stop by the brewery. So your standard cap, nice label. They're all silk screened. All of the big tree company ones, they're all silk screened. I even think um, my Bose glass. I even think that their smaller um, one uh, is also This is nice and black, people. Nice and black. So it's pitch black. You can't see through it. There is a little bit of a um, a ruby red kind of hinge at the bottom. Maybe a copper orange. Um, two fingers of a dark brown, chocolatey kind of mocha head. Small to medium bubbles. This looks delicious. Let's give her a smell. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. So you take a smell of this and you get like hints of baker's chocolate, so a slight bit of coffee, a slight bit of molasses. Um, Very, very nice, sweet, malty hints up right there up in the nose. That's from the bottle. From the glass, the same thing. Nice, sweet, dark malts. Some caramel, some chocolate, some um, coffee, some molasses. Don't smell much off the hops. It's kind of like a floral citrusy floral kind of hop it smells good it looks good let's dive in let's give her a taste whoa Wow. Very, very interesting. It kind of tastes like a mix between a stout and an IPA. You got the nice sweet malts from a stout, black patent malt, chocolate malt, maybe some roasted barley, and you got the nice sweet caramel malts like your two your two row, your crystal caramel malt combined as one. Very, very well done, very very um, well put together. Um, a lot of sweetness up front, and as it goes across your tongue, you're picking up the bitterness from the, the excuse me, citrusy floral kind of hops. It's the back of your tongue dries out, and then you're ready for some more. Now it's kind of an odd uh, take at it because your first sip initially is like the sweetness of of the stouts. And then as it goes to the back, it's like the bitterness of an IPA. So they did a fairly good job at balancing it out. It's still fairly new. Black IPs, IPAs are still fairly new, so so people are still trying to play with them to get them right. Um, but basically, essentially, what it is is it's supposed to be uh, your standard IPA um, with dark uh, malts. Nice lacing on the glass. Let's get to the last drop they say. So yeah, if you guys can find this, pick it up. Definitely worth a go. Definitely interesting and unique. 
be honest with you. I haven't had nothing quite like it. Um, again, this is my first um, attempt at uh, reviewing a black IPA, so, you know, and they did a really good job. I can't complain. So, I told you what it looked like, I told you what it smelted like, I told you what it tasted like. Um, basically, you got some two row in here, some crystal caramel malt, some black malt, and some chocolate malt. Hops are probably going to have some uh, uh, citrus, uh, cascade, centennial, um, uh, uh, chinook. Um, I don't know. That's probably about it. Um, so there you have it. It's a, it's a really interesting beer. Um, good job, Tree Brewing Company. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.